Hey everybody, Rich, back here with another review. I wanted to take just a couple minutes today and talk about Monic Fly Lines. Um, so, Monic is a company that is out of um, Colorado. I believe they were founded in 84, don't quote me on that, but something like that. And they're making fly lines, and, and they're making clear fly lines. Um, and if you go to their website and you read their story, they talk about, um, well, number one, that they're clear, and so that gives you, you know, better, uh, I guess, stealthiness when you're fishing. Um, but there's also, they claim that there's no PVC in their materials that they create these fly lines for, and so PVC is obviously, you know, bad for the environment. Um, it can leach into the water. I don't know if any of those things are substantiated, but I think if there's anything we can do for our environment, then we should do it. Um, so I had never really heard of Monic fly lines until recently. I went into my local fly shop and I had a trip coming up to Ascension Bay and um, I was going to be doing some heavy duty saltwater fly fishing and the gentleman in the fly shop said, well, why don't you try this Monic fly line and you can come back and give me kind of a review on what you thought of it. And I said, okay, sounds good. Um, you know, it's not what I'd gone in there to buy. I'd gone in there to buy, you know, a Rio bonefish taper. Um, but he, he talked me into using this and I thought, okay, good opportunity. So I used this for four days doing some really, really heavy duty saltwater fly fishing. Um, I, we were, we were targeting primarily permit and bonefish. Um, so we spent, you know, two, two and a half days targeting bonefish, the other day and a half targeting permit. When we were targeting permit, if we saw a bonefish, then we would go for the bonefish. So I always had, I had this, this line in the water a lot over the course of four days. Um, I was fishing this on my four on my eight weight Scott Meridian. So let's go ahead and tell you what I thought about it. Number one, I really, um, I like the way it casts. So something you need to know about Monic, their lines are true to weight. Okay. I think on their website, they state that even the heaviest line that they make is only going to be half a weight over um, what it states. So I'm not sure which model it is, but they have one that if it states it's a weight forward eight, then it's actually going to be grained out um, or grammed out to a half size over the eight. So it's going to be really an eight and a half. But this one that I was using, which is the Skyline, is actually right on point true to what you're using. So this is a weight forward eight floating line. I was using an eight weight Scott and it is weighted, grained, exactly to an eight weight. I personally like that. Um, you know, you have a lot of these companies out there, um, I won't name them, but they're really, really overlining these, these rods. And, and they might say it's a weight forward eight floating, but really it's grained out to, you know, a 10 weight. It might be two whole steps up. I don't like that. I want it, I want it matching my rod. Another reason too is because of Scott, Scott's not a super, or the Meridian at least, it's not a super stiff rod. It's more of a, for me at least, it's got a little better feel. So I want to feel that. Um, if, I, if I'm using a Rio line, I'm using a, a Rio Bonefish Taper, which is one of their uh, tapers that actually matches the weight of the rod a little better. So just know that if you buy this, it's going to match the weight rod that you're using. And if you're used to using one of these lines that are severely over overweighted like a maybe a, the first one that comes to mind is a tropical punch or a or a grand slam or some of those that could be two two whole sizes above the rod weight then this is going to feel a lot different okay it's not going to load the rod um, like those other ones you are going to have to really let the rod do the work you're going to have to do, work on your um, on your haul on your double hauls to really get this to perform like those other ones okay but again i prefer that i like the rod uh, working in the way that it was manufactured to work. I don't want to overline it and get an artificial, you know, an extra 15 feet artificially because the line is, is weighted way heavy. So I like that. Okay. That's the first thing. The second thing is it is clear. So it has uh, what looks to be, and I don't know for certain, but what looks to be a piece of blue um, material it looks almost like line, like fishing line or something you know, it looks like yarn. It looks like yarn. I have no idea what it is, but it's running. And then it's got this clear plastic over the blue. Um, so it is stealthy. It is, uh, you know, when I'm cat, when I was casting this out in Ascension Bay, I had a lot of trouble tracking this line. Whereas if I'm using Rio 
uh, like a bonefish tape or anything of those, I can actually see the line. It's This is hard to see, okay? So know that too. I Again, I thought that was pretty cool because um, I can see where my fly lands, I can see where I'm going, I can see the fish. I don't really have to follow this a whole lot, but if you're used to seeing that line and you like that, you won't see this, which is good because hopefully the fish don't either. Um, so I like that. The drawback, I will say, so this specific line, this is again the, uh, I believe it's the skyline. It states on the website that it's rated for 50 degrees and over. That's cool. I will say, after four days of intense use in 90, 95 degree weather, heavy winds, salt water, um, really putting it through the ringer, fishing it heavy, it did get gummy, okay? Um, now, I don't know if that was a daily thing with the heat, but it definitely got gummy. So what I mean by gummy is it starts to lose some of that stiff, that structure, um, and it almost just, like I, like, it, like I stated, it just feels kind of gummy, which I think that probably impacted how it shot through the, uh, through the guides of my rod. So I didn't like that too much. Now that was usually at the end of the day, you know, you go out in the morning and it's working great, but at the end of the day, I definitely felt like it got a little gummy, which I did not particularly like. Um, after my trip, I came back and I fished it here because it was still in good shape and I fished it here for some bass um, and it was about, you know, 65, 70, 75 degrees and it didn't do that here. It performed excellent. Um, so I don't know if it's the heat that it was 90, 95 degrees. I don't know if it was salt water. I, I don't know what it was, but it definitely got gummy on me um, late in the afternoons, okay? Um, but other than that, look, these are, I was highly impressed with this. I'm gonna buy uh, more Monic fly lines specifically for use around here where I live in these bass ponds and um, you know, even up when I go bass fishing up in the river. So I'm definitely gonna buy these again. The price point is also really good. This fly line is $69, okay? You go, you buy the, the top of the line Rio or Scientific Angler or any of those, you're gonna spend upwards of $100, $119. So I really like the price point of this as well. I can buy almost two of these for the same price point as one of those other lines. So again, just to recap, what I really like about it, I like that it's weighted true. So the grams actually match the AFTA standards for your rod. Um, I like that it's clear. I think that's a great thing. Um, it tends to cast well, it held up well. Um, what I don't like is in that extreme hot weather of Ascension Bay, it got gummy. Um, it really just had a, a very soft feel. I think it probably impacted the way that it fed through the, through the guides of my rod. Um, so I did not like that. But overall, I would definitely use this. I would definitely recommend it. Um, and I'm gonna buy more of their lines. And they're a small company and I think what they're doing is good. I think their mission is good. They're trying to um, create a fly line that is perhaps a little better for the environment, a little better for us fishermen because it's clear. Um, so I think, I think we're supporting small business. We're supporting their mission of what they're trying to do and I'll definitely continue to fish with these. All right, if you have any questions, leave them below. Uh, please, please subscribe and like the video. Um, and if you'd like me to review something else, um, even my Scott Meridian, I mentioned I have that. If you want to, you, you want to ask me questions about how I like that rod, let me know. I'll give you my honest feedback on how it performs. Um, and yeah, just enjoy your day. Again, Monic Fly Lines. There's a link to their website down below. All right, peace, y'all.